Match day is one of the most exciting yet stressful times that you'll experience during medical school. For some students, it's one of the happiest days of their lives, and for others, not so much. Here's everything you need to know about Match Day. This video is sponsored by Dr. Doc, offering Match Day loans up to $25,000 to match fourth year medical students and residents. Loans by doctors for doctors. Visit drdoclending.com. Let's start by discussing what Match Day is. For those who don't know, Match Day is the day when you find out where you're gonna be doing your residency training and in what specialty. That's the next three to seven years of your life. And although the specific dates change from year to year, Match Week takes place during the third week of March from Monday until Friday. And this year, Match Day falls on Friday, March 17th, 2023. On Monday morning of Match Week, students find out whether or not they match. That's why you see a lot of screenshots of people's emails saying, congratulations, you matched. If they match, they'll wait until Friday at 12 p.m. to find out where they matched. If they don't match, they'll spend the time between Monday to Friday applying and interviewing at programs through the Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program, also called SOAP. We'll be discussing SOAP in detail later in the video, so stick around to the end. Now let's talk about how to prepare for match day. The days and weeks leading up to match day are stressful. You put so much time and effort into your rank list back in February, and I need to wait a month to actually get the results. Take some time to check in on your mental health. Spend time with family and friends. This is the end of your med school training. All that hard work finally paying off, and you're in the home stretch. After match day, you essentially just have a couple months until residency. And during that time, it is so important to decompress, to travel if you want to, which is something that I did, and really make time for yourself so that when you start residency, July 1st or end of June, that you can hit the ground running. Between match day and your first day of residency, you might be moving to a new city. So get a head start on finding apartments and even when you do start your lease, don't start the lease two days before residency starts, right? You wanna start it at least a couple weeks before so you can get settled in, move all your furniture in, et cetera, et cetera, because once residency starts, it's a lot harder. You're not gonna have that much time to go furniture shopping and stock your fridge and all those things. Also make sure that during match week, you keep a relatively free and open schedule just in case you don't match. You can dedicate time to the soap. And if you do match, then you can spend time with friends and family and celebrate. Now let's talk about some statistics. We've discussed the issue of unmatched medical students in a previous Med School Insiders video, but how big of a problem is it? During the 2022 NRMP match, there were approximately 43,000 active applicants competing for only about 36,000 residency positions. After soap, approximately 6,400 active applicants were left without a match, which is roughly 15% of the total number of applicants. But these numbers, they don't tell the full story because the match rate differs significantly depending on where you attend medical school. The match rate for US MD seniors was approximately 93%, and the match rate for US DO seniors was approximately 91%. That's comparatively high because in contrast, the match rate for US citizen IMGs was 61% and for non-US citizen IMGs was 58%. So as you can see, there are significant differences in your ability to match depending on where you attended medical school. This is why the decision to attend medical school outside of the US, like in the Caribbean, should not be taken lightly. It can really impact your ability to match into residency. That's why we've spent so much time on both this channel and on Med School Insiders discussing the pros and cons of USMD versus USDO and Caribbean. Because even USDO programs do have significant limitations depending on what specialty you're applying to. To learn more about the statistics of the match, including a comprehensive breakdown in trends in certain specialties, check out our surprising facts from the 2022 match video, link in the description. All right, now let's talk about the Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program, aka SOAP. This is the process whereby qualified unmatched applicants in the main residency match apply for and are offered positions that weren't filled during the initial matching algorithm. SOAP takes place between the Monday of match week and the Friday of match week. Following the match status notification on Monday, which sometimes people call no match day, unmatched applicants start putting together their applications. On Tuesday, programs will review these applications, and on Wednesday, programs begin to interview the applicants. On Thursday, programs start to make offers. On match day, which is Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, Match results are sent by email to both the applicants who initially matched, as well as those who matched through SOAP. So as you can see, the entire SOAP process occurs over just a few very short, hectic days. If you believe you're at risk of going unmatched, it's a good idea to start preparing additional materials for your SOAP application including getting additional letters of recommendation or editing your personal statement in case you gear it towards another less competitive specialty. We have a super thorough comprehensive guide going over everything you need to know for SOAP over on the Med School Insiders blog, link in the description. Although SOAP can give you another shot at matching into residency, the reality is that many students still go unmatched. 
So what should you do if you end up going unmatched? First, learn from the setback. Assess your application and figure out what went wrong. Was it low board scores? Maybe weak letters of recommendation or personal statement? Did your residency interviews go poorly? Did you apply to enough programs? Almost every single piece of your application can be refined and improved for the next cycle, but you're not gonna have enough time to improve all of it. So it becomes really critical to pinpoint those areas of weakness that hold you back the most that you can make the most headway in. So that way you can apply your efforts, apply your energy between now and the time that you reapply. If you're planning to reapply during the next cycle, you'll only have a few months to improve your application. If you need to make drastic changes, you may benefit from a gap year between medical school and residency to improve your skills, gain experience, and overall bolster your application. At this point, you should also consider seeking professional advice. It can oftentimes be very difficult to objectively assess your own application. You need to make smart, calculated decisions on what to focus on before applying to residency again, or you're gonna risk having the same result. Unbiased advice from experts is gonna help you pinpoint the areas that will make the greatest improvement to your overall application. Number two, a job in the clinical setting. So once you've mapped out your plan for the next six to 18 months, you can try to look for a job in the clinical setting, and this will help you maintain your clinical knowledge and skills. Depending on what state you're in, you may also be able to find a job as an assistant physician. Several states have passed legislation allowing unmatched medical school graduates who have completed both step one and step two, but have not yet completed residency to temporarily serve as an assistant physician. That means that they can practice as a primary care physician in underserved areas in collaboration with a licensed physician. Under this arrangement, unmatched MDs and DOs can still use their knowledge and skills by working in a similar capacity to a nurse practitioner or physician assistant. Number three, you can take USMLE step three. Now, if your board scores were less than optimal, passing this test can make you a more competitive applicant. It's also a good idea to take it now at the end of medical school when all those ideas and concepts are still fresh in mind and you're gonna have an easier time with the test. Number four is be on the lookout for opportunities. Stay in touch with your dean, faculty advisors, residents, and letter writers as residency positions open up all the time and they may not come through formal channels. And there's so many different reasons as to why residency positions open up. It's possible that applicants who are accepted could have visa issues that prevent them from being able to fulfill their position. Or some residency programs could receive additional funding for another residency position that's available outside of the match. Accepted residents, for whatever reason, may face personal issues that prevent them from being able to start their residency. And other residents may resign in the middle of their plastic surgery residency to focus on their budding and promising career as an OnlyFans creator. Overall, there's all these different reasons why residency positions can open up outside of the match. So it's essential that you're always on the lookout for opportunities and you stay in contact with the professionals who believe in you. You never know what's gonna open up. And lastly, continue moving forward. Not matching can feel like an earth shattering catastrophe. Like your entire life and career have just been completely derailed. Although this is factually untrue, it's gonna feel near impossible to see the forest for the trees when you find out you didn't match. Remember that countless other students have been in your exact position and have gone on to become successful physicians. It's not your failures that define you, it's what you do after that does. Thank you all so much for watching. Check out surprising facts from the 2022 match or this other video. Much love and I'll see you guys there.